good at is getting to a low single position and good position and then being able to change knees to elevate okay because they they understand that when they get to that low single the best defense to that is essentially what we're doing not necessarily the angle step in the hip pull but somehow covering the head so they can't lift right or circle because once i cover his head the circle is usually not there anymore so he low singles once i usually once i get to this position and cover his head whether i'm grabbing or attacking this, this leg him circling and finishing in this fashion is usually not the best option for him or even available all right so normally what happens is when they get their head covered here whether i'm draping in front or take this kind of more advanced angle step hip pull he's going to change knees and elevate see how he changed knees go back down so he did have his right foot up left knee down now he's going to go left knee down outside foot up and he's going to lift now when we get here the risk factor is going up all right but as long as i've stayed athletic here and i'm on his hip i'm just going to float i'm going to pull his hip float to the far side here and i'm going to slide down and attack a leg pass to the opposite side okay elbow deep and i'm just punching away from the body now we should beat this guy with our knee slide finish every single time all right because he's going to be on the wrong knee and we're going to be traveling pretty fast to the opposite side all right and this does work at an extremely high level all right it's just a timing thing so he low singles I angle step hip pull he changes knees right when he changes knees i float back to the opposite side notice i'm going right to elbow deep okay i'm floating my feet were in the mat i stayed athletic I'm getting elbow deep and I'm punching away. Nothing changes. Driving with my feet, getting hiked with my body here, changing knees to make sure he can't dive back up under me, and I'm just wrestling this position. Okay? And it might even be something we start building back up here, and then we're in another scramble position, right? Go back down. Have we been here before? And you start seeing how all this stuff can kind of start weaving itself together, but it, this is all solid position. But again, just because we low single somebody and, and then change knees and they float far side and pass a leg and pick our leg up, we could be right back into, hey, that's not a big deal. That was pretty sweet, but I got some answers for you too. So you can see how this stuff will start weaving itself together. All right, and it's not like just crazy stuff we're pulling out of the universe. It's common positions that you're gonna see. So one more time, he goes low single, and this guy's gotta be pretty woke right here and making sure he's feeling what a good low single guy is going to do in a match. All right? When they are covered and crunched, he's got to change his finish. I can't wait for him to get here and then decide I'm going to float. There's no more float for me. Okay? I'm in trouble. All right? So, when I angle step hip pull and I feel that knee change and I feel my heel get an inch off the mat right here. As soon as he starts to lift, float. Outside elbow deep, punch away from the body, get to my leg pass finish. Start out slow, and then start getting smooth with it. Because a lot of times, as soon as I pull, they'll knee change. All right? And then I'm just ready for it. Angle step, hip pull, he knee changes. Back to the opposite side. Okay? Wrestling. Wrestling back to a good, solid position. What's up? So you know how um, whenever he switches knees and he's your leg close to the uh -huh. Um, uh, Whenever he's in that position, you know how you have that like hook on his on his hip. Uh huh. Couldn't you just like pull it back over because he'd be a little off balance if he's just on one knee. That's a real good point. This is what he's asking about. I like that a lot. We got pretty good wrestling brain, dude. So he's talking about if I'm here and he changes knees, could I pull him off balance? Hundred percent. A hundred percent. You could play there. I like the way you're thinking right now. Everybody see that? That's a pretty good solution right there. I'm not gonna lie. I've never even thought about that before. Usually trying to get to the opposite side, but that might be a mo much more simple solution than diving back to the other side. We don't get style points in wrestling, even though it looks pretty sweet. Play around in both positions. All right, maybe we can catch this guy out balance, and even if he does adjust, and I don't get him all the way to his hip angle step, hip pull, and he changes knees, and I and I make him scoot a little bit, might buy me enough time to go for it again. You know what I'm saying? If he doesn't break, I like that a lot. I'm stealing it, claiming it for my own. Go! 